Hey guys, Nick here from Pickon Productions, and welcome back to another video. Now, 2015 has been, um, really mixed. I mean, on one end, we got Jurassic World, we got Splatoon, we got The Force Awakens, but on the other hand, we got Pixels. And a few others I probably forgot. Which is for the better. <laughs> so, like I did last year, here we go again this year. Not the best, not the worst, but the top five surprises of 2015. Now, I'm not one of those people who thought The Force Awakens was gonna suck. I was actually looking really forward to it. But what I didn't expect was BB-8 to be awesome. I did not expect him to be as good as a psychic R2, as R2-D2, but he was... I, I'm scared to say better because I might get murdered, but maybe a lot of people agree with me. I don't know. I haven't been looking it up. But seriously, there's this one scene where he... Oh, wait, no, I can't spoil that. But let me just say, what I was about to say, the thing he does makes him sidekick of the year. Sorry, Ruben, for Minecraft Story Mode. You were beat out by um, a robot doing a thing I can't say. But don't worry, Ruben, you're still in second place. You're still awesome. BB-8 just did one more awesome thing than you did. Now let me take you back to a time when I only had a Wii U in 3DS and I got into Minecraft. I couldn't play it. I had nothing that would play it. I didn't have an Xbox, I didn't have a PlayStation, or a computer that would run it. So, naturally, I begged for it to come to Wii U, but it, it never did. And then our computer broke, so we bought a new one that could actually run Minecraft because it wasn't old. And but then I eventually got an Xbox, and now I didn't need it. And then it came out. Hmm. Better late than never, I guess? I mean, I don't need it anymore. I have a computer! I have an Xbox. I don't. I don't need it for Wii U anymore. Of course, I still bought it for principal reasons because I originally wanted it for Wii U. Wait, you just spent thirty bucks on a game you already owned? Yeah, yeah. That's sure. That sounds a bit stupid in retrospect. I basically bought it again. <laughs> I don't know principal reasons. I was just surprised. I never thought it would come to the Wii U, and the Wii U is probably going to be done by the end of next year. Probably, I'm guessing. With the NX most likely coming out soon. So, yeah, it was sort of a hollow victory for it to finally come to Wii U, I guess. <laughs> well, that and wasted money. <laughs> now, when Splatoon was first announced, I wasn't very hyped for it at all. I don't know. I'm not really into online shooters. I tried like one round of Call of Duty Black Ops 2 <laughs> online. I didn't like this sucks. I don't like it. I just never found myself wanting to play another caring. I just never found myself saying I have to play another round of this. And now that I have limited internet, I can't really just freely play. <laughs> so that makes it even worse. So I wasn't very excited for it. And I didn't even, I didn't even expect it to be super good. And this is coming from the guy who expects everything to be good. I don't know, it just didn't look something for me. And then I decided to buy it. And wow. I was I was blown away. L the little time I had unlimited internet. I, I really has fun, and holy crap, the single player. Ah, oh, man, I loved the single player. Sure, it was easy to 100%, but it was fun. It was creative. <laughs> and you can obviously see how much fun I had, because I did the Let's Play of the single player. This isn't stealth marketing, this is shameless marketing. I was just surprised of how good it was. And of course, it beat Black Ops 3 and Halo 5 for best shooter. Score! 
Now, I may be the nicest guy on the internet and like almost everything, but trust me when I say it still takes a lot to be come one of my favorite things ever. The story of how I got into Hyperdimension is a very simple one. In the beginning of the summer, Funimation's like, hey, new anime, it's about the console wars and video games. I'm like, hey, okay, I'll check it out. I check it out, end up loving it, and find out that it's based off a video game series. And I find out that video game series actually happens to be on sale for 60% off the same day I finished watching the anime. So I'm just like, goodbye, wallet. And I'm now broke at the beginning of the summer and bought both game, bo both games and all the DLC. And I ended up loving it! I did not know this thing existed, and I'm happy I do know, because holy crap, this is a great series. So much goodness. Good characters, good story, great gameplay. So much stuff. All spouting from a very, very terrible And the number one biggest surprise of 2015 is... How my summer turned out. Oh boy, story time. So, in the beginning of summer, like I said, I got into Hyperdimension. That would probably automatically make the summer awesome. Except the rest of the summer is kind of even. You see, I got a job at Dairy Queen because I wanted a PS4. Because Sword Art Online was coming to the PS4. And I was like, okay, I'm getting a PS4. <laughs> and I did get the job at Dairy Queen. Probably already said that. Wow, I failed. Whatever, it, let's just continue the story. And you know, I'm working. I'm, I'm slowly learning. I'm seriously learning. Like I was learning so slow. Not even funny. Gee, I'm sorry I'm in special ed. No, seriously. And then I went to Detroit. That was fun for the National Youth Gathering. Hashtag that guy with that face. I loved that. But then it all went downhill when I got back from Detroit. So, event number one. I got fired from Dairy Queen because I learned too slow. I'm sorry I'm in special ed. Once again, I should probably explain why I'm a special ed, because my brain is actually hooked up a bit differently, so I learn differently. So that means probably means I learn slower. So I got fired for a, I don't want to say mental, mental condition, but some sort of thing in my brain that I can't control? Really? No, no, that's not even the worst part. I guess I would have been okay with being fired, because, you know, it, it wasn't very fun. I didn't even want the job at Dairy Queen. I wanted Burger King, but <laughs> Burger King already had too many people, so I am stuck with Dairy Queen. But no, that's not the worst part. Here's the worst part. I was fired a day before my birthday. Oh, boo-hoo. No, no, no. It, get, it gets worse. So, I had to work on... So my birthday was on Saturday. I got fired on Friday. And, but before that, I ha also had a shift on Tuesday. When I came in on Tuesday, they said, When you come in on Saturday, we're going to give you a cake and celebrate your birthday. And then when I come in on Friday and get fired, they say, You don't need to come in on Saturday. Did, did you just jack a free cake you offered me? You... But... That is messed up. The cake is definitely a lie. You fire me... And then don't even give me the free cake you promised. Ah, it's gonna be awkward going into Dairy Queen every now whenever I want something, isn't it? Why, yes! Yes, it still is! And that's why I prefer the drive-thru nowadays. <laughs> and completely staring at my video game while we're getting the- while my mom's getting the food for me <laughs> from the drive-thru window. <laughs> that's exactly how I'm going through this. I'm still the cake. And that's... Okay, so that's one part of the story. Here's the next part of the story. My internet! I'm sure a few of you have heard of that before. My internet... Here's the full story. So, our internet provider... Runs off... A really big internet provider. If you know what I mean. Like, um... They don't run off Verizon, but let's just use Verizon as an example. Verizon has a tower. They use Verizon's tower and internet and give it to us, 
and yes, that's legal. They have contract and stuff. Remember, this isn't Verizon, but I'm gonna use Verizon because that's like one of the most known companies. Verizon then out of nowhere dumps them. Out of nowhere. No information, no like months notice, weeks notice, just like, hey, one day coming to work. Oh no, sorry, you can't you don't work here anymore. You're you're off. What? And that of course means abruptly no internet. And that means they have to that also means they have to find a new prov a new company to partner with. And that took about three months. And it started around the end of July. So, and I was fired, yeah, around the end of July, because my birthday is July 25th. So I was fired sitting at home. So I was sitting at home doing absolutely nothing for a month, and I didn't even have internet. I was unable to barely do anything. Five Nights at Freddy's 4 came out. I wasn't able to just download that because I didn't have internet. The the update for Pokemon Uranium came out. I wasn't able to download that until I went. I was able to go somewhere for internet. You guys remember some of my Pokemon Uranium videos? I had Garmadubus for upload. Oh man, it was just really. I, I, I literally sat there for a month doing nothing. Didn't you get fat? Yes. Yes, I did. I like to work out by watching and watching a YouTube video, but I don't have internet, so I can't watch a YouTube video, so I can't work out, and I'm very good at procrastinating, so <laughs> I didn't work out for a long time, and I just, I just sat there doing like little to nothing for a month. Why didn't you play video games? Because I felt depressed that I got fired and didn't get a cake, and then I also felt depressed because my internet's out of nowhere. Seriously. I want to say within the same week, we lose internet, and I get fired, and the cake I promised was a lie. That really sucked. And after the happiness rainbow I was on of Hyperdimension and then Detroit... Ah, uh, that's... this summer really sucked. But at the same time, like I said, Detroit and Hyperdimension... I don't know what to say! Was this summer even? I, I don't know. And now that we actually have internet again, it's limited. So I can't... I, I actually wanted to start live streaming. <laughs> nope. Nope, that, 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 that won't happen. My PS4 came with Destiny. Nope, nope, can't play that, because that's an online game. On the internet. Uh, Super Mario Maker? Nope, nope, nope. You, you can't play Mar Hunter Mario Challenge, because that's online. But I only got to ever play one round of Call of Duty online. Nope, sorry, you can't play that online. Uh, it was... I don't even... I hope things start to turn around. They are already, hopefully. Probably. I mean, I got an Elgato for Christmas, so... I can get back to work on Let's Plays on consoles. That's a good thing. The next Hyper Dimension is coming to PS4 the first quarter of 2016. I'm definitely going to pre-order that, and let's play it, hopefully. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, what surprised you this year? Tell me in the comments section below. And thanks for watching. I will see you next year.